day Vere woke up from a nightmare and realized there was something strange in his ear. When he pulled it out, it turned out to be a long rubber. He freaked out and made a pig-like squeal. His roommate rushed in, asking what happened, and De Vere, embarrassed, showed him the unusually long rubber. The roommate was shocked, but then Nash lonely sat her down and fell asleep. When woken up, the roommate calmly pulled out a condom from his own ear and casually said it was no big deal. Then, he opened his skull, pulled out a sausage the same height as him, and sliced it open, releasing a swarm of ants. Due to De Vere's disturbing story, let's take a break and hear about the prodigy Sonny's tale. She simply covered her eyes, and her parents acted as if they couldn't see her anymore. Desperate to find their daughter, her parents searched the entire house and even called the police. But the officers couldn't see the child sitting in the middle of the living room. After losing their daughter, Sonny's parents' relationship took a nosedive, leading to constant arguments. Eventually, her dad committed suicide, left alone. Her mom, preparing to end her own life, was thrilled to see Sonny return. However, when Sunny covered her eyes again, her mom completely lost it and exploded on the spot. When the little girl opened her eyes again, her parents were nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, her home's TV was airing a horror comedy show with a hilarious act, featuring a head performer entertaining the audience, even causing a ninja to spit out water. He pulled out paper and a pen, with a cigarette dangling from his mouth, and began writing jokes on the spot. Okay, back to the unfortunate De Vere. He was being scolded by his supervisor for low productivity. The boss made him choose among a bunch of confusing numbers. But De Vere was just utterly baffled. Suddenly, the boss noticed a hole in the back of his head. Inside the hole was a mysterious creature that, after eating peanuts handed by the boss, sprayed its excrement on his face. The boss, infuriated, tried to investigate using a flashlight and a pencil, accidentally stabbing De Vere and causing him to break into a cold sweat. At this moment, the creature in the hole laid eggs, making a noisy racket, and the boss couldn't take it anymore. Out of anger, he fired De Vere. Learning about his dismissal, De Vere's anger exploded. He shot at the ceiling in frustration, but under the boss's command, tearfully escaped. Back home, he stared at himself in the mirror, strangely filled with confidence. Lost in his own appearance, he engaged in an indescribable activity with his reflection. To everyone's surprise, the mirror became pregnant, he gave birth to a baby made of mirrors, and even more unexpectedly, the babies like this one were filling up the cabinets. Suddenly, the mirror mom silently approached him, catching him off guard, collided with him, causing his face to shatter into pieces. 